Hi and welcome. We are here in Innopharma Technologies QC Lab in Dublin, Ireland. And I have two Icon 2s set up here for this demo today to show you the new iPass version with machine learning technology, iPass version 3. Um, over here on my right, I, we can see the Icon 2 set up in a pseudo inline rig. We just have a nice spinny wheel here with some Worcester material, so it can do uh, present material to the Icon inline in a pseudo setup. And this is something we, we send to our trade shows and such for a bit of in-house testing. Then over on the left here, we have the Icon set up in its atline setup with the automated sample presentation stage, and I'll talk more about that one in a moment. But going back to the iPass 2 here looking inline, if we take a closer look at it and what it's doing, it's get presented with new material every couple of seconds from the spinning wheel, very similar to something like a fluid bed process. And this is actually sellets or coated material that we do have in this drum. And if we go further again to look at its software iPass running and what it's looking at, this is iPass version 3.0, now with our built-in machine learning image analysis. And we can see we're getting our data here in real time, reported back to us in a non-product contact fashion. And we can see the D10, the D50, and the D90 uh, being reported back as uh, 628 for the D50, our average. And we can also hover over these charts here to get a bit more information about what's happening in our process, so in line. And we can also zoom in and out of that data we have the histograms here on the bottom, which we can hover over to tell us um, what kind of brackets the material is falling into. So we can say that 75% of the material we've measured is falling between 546 and 664 microns. So that's some of the useful things that's happening with iPass version 3. It's doing its automated image analysis in the background, giving us much more higher, uh, repeatable, accurate results for these types of materials. And the Worcester coated material is very typical for solid oral dose manufacturing, something we've measured before with our traditional uh, image analysis, and it's what we're known for. But if we actually go over to the icon to this one here, looking at a benchtop analysis and the material it's looking at underneath the uh, camera here on the sample presentation stage, in the software, we can see the live image area is showing this highly reflective material. And this is actually glass beads used for sieve standards. These are certified 1,000 micron glass beads that are used throughout industry to verify that your sieves are operating correctly. And we use these on purpose here to train our image analysis software for what is uh, 1,000 microns. And we can see the results again. We're getting back in real time, non-product contact fashion. If we look at the D50, we have 1,022 microns, a very highly accurate result for this type of material with its, wide, with its particle size distribution. And again, we have all the interactions we can have with this software as in hovering over the charts to see the, the real-time data as it's happening. But what's really great about this is because this material is um, highly reflective, transparent, and see-through, you can even see the LEDs reflected back to the camera that our machine learning algorithm is now able to overcome these uh, difficulties which would have been uh, too uh, hard for our traditional image analysis to measure before. So now that that's overcome, we've opened up new markets, new materials for the Icon 2, no longer just solid oral dose type of materials. We can measure dark materials, we can measure translucent materials, reflective materials. Once it's within the particle size range of 50 microns to 5,500 microns, new markets, new opportunities are open to the Icon 2. Um, thank you.